As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, State, Flag, Order, Arms, And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order.
unit is Division 9, 1, 6. <laughs> Division 916 provides the arrival honor staff, honor guard, the recruit review commander, adjutant, and graduates who provide support assignments for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions, counter, march. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill line. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
Division commanders, left or right, face parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see five divisions comprised of 337 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to, center, to the unit position at center deck. There is a review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Fireman Alexis Rigby from Cedro Woolley, Washington. Let's give her a hand, folks. Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their seventh week of training, the State Flags Unit on their eighth week of training, and the Staff Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please, hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 075. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dela Gonzalez. Petty Officer First Class Kimberly Hammond. Petty Officer Second Class Cleaver Presti. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Jordan Silva from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Division 076. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Robert Allison. Petty Officer First Class Peter May. Petty Officer Second Class Elijah Stansberry. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Recruit Brian Sissel from Bardstown, Kentucky. Division Zero. Seven, seven. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Brandon Romano. Petty Officer First Class, Moises Beltran. Petty Officer First Class, Aliyah Mangan. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman David Cole from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Division 079. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Willie McGee. Petty Officer First Class Robert Schwertfeger. Petty Officer First Class Dylan Sublet. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Ethan Wood from Alamo, California. Division 916. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Michael Scherer. Petty Officer First Class James Fernison. Petty Officer First Class Valerie Litwinko. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Fireman Alexis Rigby from Cedro Woolley, Washington. 
On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Boatswain, and Honor Guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, and the national anthem, and invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party. Southeast Regional Maintenance Center, arriving. Order! Arms! The guests may be seated. Inspection, sir! Inspection! 
you actually comment, sir? Will the guests please rise? Present. On. Order arms. Chaplain Page will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this momentous day, we are filled with gratitude and praise. We thank you for the brave men and women who have answered the call to serve our nation with honor, courage, and commitment. 
We ask for your continued presence and guidance as they embark on this new journey as sailors. May they be strengthened and empowered to uphold the values of duty, loyalty, and selflessness. Help guide them to be warfighters of character who embody the highest ideals of integrity, resilience, and excellence. May they always remember the sacrifices of those who have gone before them and be inspired to carry on that legacy with humility and honor. We pray that you would bless each one of them with good health, safety, and success in all of their upcoming endeavors. May their families and loved ones be comforted and supported, knowing that their sailors are in your loving care. And as we hear the words of the Navy hymn, Eternal Father, may it serve as a reminder of the ever-present protection offered in the hour of danger, whether we find ourselves on land or out to sea. In your holy name I pray, amen. show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Captain Ken Froger, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. Welcome to your Navy's quarterback. I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Captain Justin Dow, Commanding Officer, Southeast Regional Maintenance Center. I'd also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsors, USS Curisar, sponsoring Division 075, Southeast Region Maintenance Center, sponsoring Division 076, and Construction Battalion Maintenance Unit 303, sponsoring Division 077, Littoral Combat Ship Squadron 1, sponsoring 079. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect sailors from Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while training here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. For all our veterans, please rise so we'll give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 916 graduates today. There are support staff unit providing arrival honors, honor guard, recruit review commander, adjutant, and support staff for the ceremony. Please join me in giving them and four other graduating divisions here today a round of applause for their outstanding performances. such as those standing here today. These sailors before you have completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding training and earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we encourage you to learn more about your Navy family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search Navy Boot Camp Navy Family to learn more about your new Navy family. Today's graduates serve as a bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty from those who would threaten. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 337 of the newest, sharpest sailors United States Navy. Attention to detail and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors, individually and as teams, met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a Battle Efficiency Division and is awarded the Battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Division 0, 7, 5 has earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job. Well done! Captain Dow will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Captain, fire 
It is our pleasure to recognize the review commander for today's ceremony. Fireman Alexis Rigby, Division 9, 1 6 from Cedro Woolley, Washington. Throughout her training, Fireman Rigby has exhibited great pride in naval service and has consistently demonstrated her potential as an effective leader. She has maintained a high standard of personal appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Well done, Sailor. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Robert Valdez, Division 079 from Edinburgh, Texas, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Valdez receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Seaman Hernando Umayan, Division 076 from Mason Lock, Philippines, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Umayan is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Construction men, Hansel Alvarez Flores, Division 079 from San Pedro Sula, Honduras, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Construction men, Alvarez Flores is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Airman Michael DeConcini, Division 916 from Tucson, Arizona, is a recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman DeConcini is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor! The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Apprentice Emilio Avalos, Division 076 from Ventura, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Apprentice Avalos is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Captain, Airman Apprentice Sissel, reporting. 
Airman Apprentice Brian Sissel, Division 076 from Bardstown, Kentucky, is a recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Airman Apprentice Sissel, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command would also like to recognize two outstanding crew members of Recruit Training Command for their dedicated service this past three years where they've trained over 70,000 recruits for the fleet. Would Lieutenant Markey and Chief Beldez report to the drill deck front and center? Department of the Navy, this is to certify that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal to Lieutenant Seamus C. Markey, United States Navy, for meritorious service while serving as a Human Performance Program Officer and Senior Watch Officer at Recruit Training Command from May 2021 to April 2024. As Human Performance Program Officer, he oversaw the safe execution of specialty and high-risk programs leading to the successful transformation of 6,336 civilians into the smartly disciplined, physically fit, and basically trained sailors ready for duty in the fleet. His efforts to overhaul recruit physical fitness remediation contributed to an impressive 8.3% recruit attrition rate in 2024. As senior watch officer, he led a dyna dynamic watch bill and qualification program, managing 1,000 sailors charged with responsibility for command safety, operations, and facilities. By his unswerving determination, wise judgment, and complete dedication to duty, Lieutenant Markey reflected credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Given this first day of April 2024, K.J. Froberg, Captain of the United States Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. Well done, officer. Department of the Navy, this is certified. The Secretary of the Navy is awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal to Chief Fire Control and Surface Warfare Juan S. Valdez Amarillas, the United States Navy, for meritorious service while serving as a recruit division commander and commanding officers enlisted aid at Recruit Training Command from April 2021 to April 2024. As recruit division commander, he led six divisions transforming 528 civilians into basically trained and highly motivated sailors ready for duty in the fleet. As the commanding officer's enlisted aide, he maintained the command triad schedule, enabling processes at all levels, escorted 54 distinguished visitors during pass and review ceremonies, and was responsible for the command's first official ball cap, universally raising morale. By his unswerving determination, wise judgment, and complete dedication to duty, Chief Valdez Amarillas reflected credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Given this first day of April 2024, signed K.J. Froberg, Captain U.S. Navy. Well done, Chief Petty Officer. recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for our award recipients and outstanding
I just want to take a second to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our, our staff here at Recruit Training Command, and this mission is absolutely central to everything we do. And that's why we want to take a moment to acknowledge Lieutenant Markey and Chief Valdez's outstanding contribution to this mission and the production of these outstanding sailors right before you today. Who you got, Andy? Who you got, Andy? Who you got, Andy? More like it. All right, I have a distinct honor of introducing our reviewing officer, Captain Justin Dow, Commanding Officer, Southeast Regional Maintenance Center. A native of Anaconda, Montana, he's a 1997 graduate of my alma mater, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, Kings Point, New York. So, way back when, in 1993, we showed up and started a journey of adventure at a small school in Long Island. And it would take us 20 plus, uh, 25 plus years later to this position we're at today. Thousands and thousands of miles traveled, Numerous journeys, numerous stories, and numerous adventures. And that's one story that I want to impart with all of you as you're graduating today and embarking on your Navy journey. That sense of adventure, that sense of wonder to seek out and choose the other path, the one less traveled. You are held to a higher standard and you will achieve amazing things. All right, back to my script. Ashore, his tours include Naval Postgraduate School, Naval Warfare Development Community, executed a lateral transfer to the Engineering Duty Officer Community in 2007. Among his EDO tours are Waterfront Operations Officer, Southeast Regional Maintenance Center, Surface Maintenance Branch Head at U.S. Fleet Forces Command, Engineering and Maintenance Assistant Chief of Staff at Naval Surface Force Atlantic. Captain Dow became the seventh commanding officer of Southeast Regional Maintenance Center in 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in warming, in warming recruit training commands. Welcome for Captain Dow. Can't speak anymore. I'm off the podium. All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Ken, for those great remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and most of all, welcome to the friends and family of these fine Navy sailors you see before you today. It is truly an honor to join you as we welcome these young men and women to the, as the newest sailors into the greatest Navy in the world, the United States Navy. I thank each and every one of you for the role you've played in their successes thus far as they begin their Navy journey. Whether you know it or not, each of you here today have helped shape these sailors into an elite group, a group of individuals who understands they are part of something bigger than themselves, someone who has volunteered to stand up for their country and is willing to put service to their country over their individual gains. We now also welcome all of you to our Navy family. Your support to these phenomenal men and women remains as critical throughout the rest of their careers as it has until this point. Unlike these sailors you see standing before you today, I have not spent any time in our Navy's enlisted ranks. As Captain Froberg so eloquently put it, our Navy journey started nearly 31 years ago as plead candidates at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy in the summer of 1993. Captain Froberg, I'm sure, will echo my sentiments when I say that uh, along our journey uh, during our indoc period at Kings Point and, and uh, afterwards there, uh, contemplated quitting on multiple occasions. Uh, thank God. Uh, did not do that and, and here before you today. Adjusting from high school to civilian life into the Navy isn't always easy. But to each of you here today, you have already proven your worth and having completed Navy's boot camp. I applaud you now as you enter the profession of arms and begin your service to our great nation. Each of you has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a cause greater than yourselves. You have passed every test triumphed over every challenge and proven yourselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy sailor. Wear it with pride every day. Whether you only stay for your initial enlistment or serve for close to a 30 year or more career, you, you now join an exclusive organization of those who have chosen the path of service service to the greatest Navy and the greatest country in the world. Sailors, I can tell you from experience that you are about to embark on one of the most challenging 
adventures of your life. But I can also tell you that with your service, if you serve with honor, keep faith with your fellow sailors and fellow shipmates, and strive for excellence in everything you do, it will be one of the most rewarding and fulfilling journeys of your life. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when we need you the most, when America must show a strong presence throughout the world, on the sea and in the skies. As tensions grow across the world, it is our Navy and our fellow sailors who are answering our nation's call, many of whom are on deployment defending freedom across the world as we stand here today. You've accepted the call of defending our nation, and the instructors and staff here at RTC have done a masterful job of preparing you for that tremendous duty and responsibility. You've earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. When you leave this drill hall, please know that your journey will continue as you will continue to grow as a, as a United States sailor, soon joining your shipmates around the world. In closing, not just as a Navy captain nearing the end of my career, but as a fellow American, I would like to be one of the first to say to all of you, thank you for your service. Thank you for the support you provide to this great nation. I'm proud of you, I cheer for each one of you, and I look forward to seeing the great contributions you make to, in your journey in our great Navy. Congratulations again. You are now United States Navy sailors. Thank you. And in closing, have a great Navy day on purpose, Go Navy, beat Army. Dowd will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
and one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of the Navy Band, Great Lakes. Flags, post. Section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's graduation with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty call! Liberty call!